In this video, I will talk about the implementation of the sample table class. Instead of uh, implementing and testing um, the whole program in video, I skip that process and directly uh, discuss uh, uh, the completed uh, program. Our sample table class is here, holding the control key and then click it. It, uh, now we are in the uh, HPP file, uh, header file, C++ header file, sample table. In this one, uh, it requires four library, it requires uh, to include four library headers, C, uh, STD, int, which uh, in the hex CPU, the integer uh, length is uh, 16 bits, so we need to use this uh, UINT16 tab. Unsend the integer 16 bit tab. And the map uh, header. To implement our uh, uh, sum table, as discussed in the last video, we need to convert the C standard uh, template library map into our sample table, which is uh, this step. We have map uh, with the uh, first uh, column string tab, labels and variables a string, and uh, a corresponding address, which is unsigned uh, integer 16 bits, is a value. We name this uh, as a table which is basically our sample table. Next, we, we, we need a, a standard uh, exception. Uh, remember that in some case, there are invalid uh, combination of a sample name. It begins with a number and then letter. It's a, it is invalid. We need to throw this uh, exception to tell the user uh, they have the code implemented wrong, uh, I mean the uh, assembly code. Also, we are using a C++ uh, string to keep tracking the labels and the symbols in the assembly code. Labels and uh, uh, variables. Now, let's start uh, looking at our uh, sample table class. The table uh, discussed uh, uh, before is this uh, the, the core storage. It has a pair, a string, and a address. String type a label or variable, and it's corresponding address uh, um, address in the read-only memory. A map uh, is just like a, a dictionary. You have a different, uh, you may have a different uh, implementation in other uh, languages. In C++ and uh, Java, they are called a uh, map. We also have two integer type uh, variables, which is a counter of a variable. Like this, we first uh, encountered a variable i, so it is uh, uh, 16. Remember that the first uh, 15 uh, variables are pre-allocated for those uh, intrinsic uh, labels. So for uh, variables, we start from 16, and then uh, we have a sum, 16 plus 1, the 17th variable. For the label counter, we count the lines in the uh, cleaned up uh, assembly code. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So loop is uh, number 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19. So end, end label is at the 19th address. That's it. We put a loop as a 5 and end as 19. To get access to uh, those three variables, we also need some uh, uh, functions. The first one will be the uh, constructor of our sample table class. Let's uh, have a look of, of how it's uh, implemented. First, uh, we clean up uh, uh, any existing term in the table. We will have an empty uh, sample table. Empty, like this, empty. And then we uh, allocate intrinsic uh, variables which is specified in the in this table from uh, 0 to 15 we also got some uh, an MIO which is a memory mapped input output for our hex screen and the keyboard buffers remember that the first uh, 15 uh, random access memory uh, are located for SP down to reg virtual register 15. So other variables are started from number 16. Go back to our header header file. Sample table dot HPP. Now we have the destructor. Whenever our program hit is a uh, uh, his end, we need to free up the memory address memories in our computer that are used by our program. So we have this uh, destructor. Basically, it cleans up the table, clean up, clean which uh, removes any existing content in our sample table to free, free up uh, computer memory. We have a increment label counter. Uh, remember that each time we read an uh, instruction, we increment the counter uh, to tr keep tracking the corresponding memory address of this uh, label. So we need uh, this uh, function. Uh, it is uh, very simple, just uh, increment uh, the label counter. We have the add label uh, function, which takes a uh, parameter label, which just uh, this uh, label, and then it uh, checks whether this label is already already in the uh, sample table. So it it uh, calls a uh, uh, find function for this map class, looking for this label. If it's not, uh, so if there's an, uh, this label is not in the table, the find function will return the end. So it's a uh, find uh, one by one. Uh, Sorry, uh, this this sample table traverse uh, over each term one by one, and then come to the end of this uh, table. If it's not f uh, found, so return the end. We compare the return value against the end. If uh, they are not equal to the end, it means it. That that uh, label has been found in the sample table. So we throw a uh, exception. See, uh, there's a there is a redefined label. So terminate the our assembler and uh, let the user know. Otherwise, if it's not in the table, we do this uh, table insert. Uh, because each entry in this uh, uh, sample table is a pair. So we need a pair type uh, variable. The first uh, column, <coughs> the first uh, column is a key. Key 
key, string type key, and the second uh, column is uh, uh, unsigned integer 16 bits uh, type uh, address. We put the label into the first uh, as a key, and then we read the label counter, current label counter, as a value to insert into the table. Let's see. Uh, add add a label. That's a, that's our add label function. Next, we have the add variable. Uh, add variable function. It is very similar to the add label, but instead of uh, having a, a label counter which keep tracking the line of uh, uh, instructions, we have this uh, variable counter start from zero. We first uh, uh, search for is that label already exists in the sample table. If it uh, does exist, we just uh, skip because it's already in the uh, sample table. If if it is is not uh, exist, we do this uh, insert uh, uh, that uh, variable and the corresponding uh, address in in the re uh, random access memory and then increment uh, uh, that counter. Uh, for example, we have a, a variable counter as zero. There's a no uh, variable in the random access memory already. So we encounter this uh, i variable. We insert it into the um, sample table. The increment uh, this uh, variable counter we have already have one. So the um, after this step, the variable counter is one. And keep going. Another uh, sample insert to the sample table. Increment by one. Now the variable count is two. And then keep going. We have a uh, i again. It is uh, the first uh, variable in the sample table. So it goes here. Uh, this time. Because uh, it's already in the table, the find function not return and anymore, so it's just a skip, just a skip this process because it's an already in the sample table. We don't need to do anything. For the last uh, function, which is a lookup sample function, which takes in a uh, variable name and return its con corresponding memory address. Let's see where it is it. It is here. Uh, for this, we will uh, anyway try to add this uh, variable into the sample table. Uh, for example, we are still at this step. Take the i in, and uh, call this uh, add variable function. Try to add this. If it is a, uh, of course, it is already in the sample table. So skip this, skip this step, and then here we use the find uh, function again. It will return that the entry to that uh, uh, the, where the i is uh, stored, and uh, dereference it, and find the second column. Second column is a uh, uh, corresponding. Uh, address of the i and return this uh, as a memory address. Yeah, that's it uh, our uh, sample table class. In the next video, I will discuss a uh, puzzle. Uh, where is that? I will discuss the puzzle and the code uh, class.